All NGW wrestlers are highly trained professional athletes. Please do not attempt anything that you see in this show at home. For two years, we have witnessed the methodical ascension of Joseph Connors. Will his end game come to fruition as he challenges Matt Myers for the NGW heavyweight title? And Matt Myers went for that Gen X quick start and Connors had eyes in the back of his head. He knew exactly what was going on. Myers fighting back now up on the second, comes back, huge elbow, and both men are down. Myers picks him up, side suplex to the canvas. And a moonsault! Oh, Davey's got him! Connors picks up, Myers drops him! He's got Myers picked up, or at least he did, Myers escaped. Myers tried to get Connors there, and Myers is out. Got into the corner oh. with a double foot stop from Connors. Myers with the cover to retain the title. Oh, Connors kicks out again. Referee is down. Oh. There's a Myers stunner. Oh. Myers stunner. There's no referee. There's no referee. Oh, Myers has this one. No oh, low blow. Connors is demanding, I think, that Slater go and get a steel chair. Slater now handing over that chair to Connors. Oh, Slater! Slater! Slater took the chair back! Davey couldn't watch anymore! Oh my god! Slater with the chair and the Myers stunner! The cover and Matt Myers! Matt Myers retains! It is a tale of revenge for the NGW champion, Matt Myers, but it is a tale of redemption for Liam Slater. British wrestling match of the year. 20 of the top professional wrestlers in the United Kingdom will fight in an over-the-top rope rumble-style match with the winner getting a guaranteed title shot. To be eliminated, you must be thrown over the top rope and both feet must touch the floor with entrance selected at random. Bubblegum plays him on the top rope and Leguero over the top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leguero holds on for dear life. And, oh, he's going for that package pile driver. If he can hit the most dangerous move in British wrestling today, he goes for it. Bubblegum comes out of the back there. And, whoa, 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 oh, 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 Bubblegum and Hitchman have been eliminated. Just like that. Now, what about Myers? Whoa, oh, it's Myers. Myers is hanging on for dear life. Myers wants a win in this match. Blocks the C4L. Leguero charges, oh, 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 and Leguero lands on the apron and saves himself. Just like that, Leguero is almost out, oh, 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 Joe Connors will be second elimination. And it's Liam Slater, Liam Slater, and look at the righteous Joseph Connors. This crowd feels what I feel, and that's that one of NGW's most heated rivalries has made its way into the Destiny Rumble, and Mark Haskins, out of absolutely nowhere, cuts off Liam Slater. And look at, whoa, whoa. oh, and Liam Slater chucks Haskins out. And now it's Slater and Connors. Slater and Connors. And Connors is saying to Slater, hit me. And I tell you what, Liam Slater's not going to be able to, 
turn down that offer and he doesn't. And Connors is, what's Connors doing? This crowd saying one more time, and so is Connors. This is bizarre. And Connors takes that blow to the face again. What's going on here? Con Connors is saying, throw me out. This has got to be a trick. And, and Slater, and, oh, Slater has eliminated Joe Connors, who is smiling. Who is smiling, and Connors is now clapping. I. I don't understand what is going through the mind of the righteous Joseph Connors. Oh no, look at this. All four members of the control have stood over Matt Myers and this crowd at the Liverpool Olympia behind holds Matt Myers. But there is just no way that Myers can overcome these odds. God, my God, he's going to try and eliminate Red Page Brown. Look at this. Look at this. God, he's almost got him. He's all out. Oh! Zach Gibson considered the favourite to win. But with a four on two situation, those odds are rapidly changing. Haskins saying, come on. And whoa, oh, oh, oh! Sticks has just eliminated the proven out of nowhere! And the countdown is on. We know we have one man left to enter. Williams has been advised by doctors not to take part because he has seriously bruised ribs. Will he be here? And look at Haskins. Oh, look at Haskins and Brown. These two, they must be arguing about who's going to be the winner. Because both men want a shot. Both men want their chance. And Nathan Cruz and Gibson is using an opportunity. Well, oh, but not for long. And Gibson is in a world of trouble as Haskins goes to the top rope, the place he is most dangerous, dies. Gibson rolls out of the way. Haskins rolls through. Brown plays Brown, charges. Gibson gets the boot up. And Gibson's at, whoa, 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 Haskins is out. This crowd screaming for Gibson to do it. Oh, and he hits West. And this place erupts. Oh, but what's that for Brown, 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 Oh, Gibson's been eliminated! This, this is a... Oh, it's Doug Williams! Entrant number 20 is here! My God! This crowd firmly on the side of a British wrestling legend. But Rampage Brown goes for that Samoan drop again. Williams fights out the back. Whoa, whoa, German suplex! German suplex! And, wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, Williams wins! Williams wins! My God, Williams has won! Destiny Rumble was one of the seminal events in NGW history and right now the two final men are about to qualify for this year's Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, on their way to the ring. Dave Bradshaw here at ringside with former British heavyweight champion Alex Shane. And Alex, for RJ Singh, an important part of his business strategy here is for these two of his assets to qualify for that rumble. Well, Dave, you're exactly right, because as we found out in the premiere episode of this season's British Wrestling Weekly, RJ Singh is so desperate for dominance in the Destiny Rumble that he even tried to enter himself into that contest. Of course, that attempt came short at the hands of Justin Sizem. So for Singh, this is the ultimate opportunity to make sure that three of his men are in that rumble as Caden Lay and Alex Gracie attempt to join the already entered Jake McCluskey. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing their opponents. A real contrast here between RJ Singh's assets and their opponents who you're about to meet for Singh and co. NGW is just a stepping stone, a chance to be seen on television. Whereas for these two young men, trained at the NGW Academy, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, top of man wins of four, four, two pounds. This is the team of David Briggs, is Matthews, Team Sports. David Graves and Ace Matthews, Team Sports. Undoubtedly the underdogs here against their much more experienced opponents, but what they lack in experience, Team Sports, 
They certainly have in heart. Well, for Matthews and Graves, this is undoubtedly the single most important match of their entire young careers. On television, broadcast around the world with a shot in the Destiny Rumble. But you cannot underestimate the joint experience that came to the ring before them, led by RJ Singh, over 15 years in the professional wrestling business, and he knows every single dirty trick in the pro wrestling rule book. That's one of the great things about the Destiny Rumble is that every single person entered into that match has a chance, maybe a remote chance in some cases, but everyone has a chance of being the next challenger for the NGW Championship. Well, Dave, we're going to get answers to that question after the commercial break. And on top of that, we're going to find out exclusively the four men announced for the Davy Boy Smith Memorial Cup number two and an incredible announcement regarding a huge signing for the Gen X League. Don't go anywhere. Hello there friends, it's your old pal Gilligan Gordon here to give you his analysis of the upcoming Destiny Rumble. Now there's a number of individuals in this one who are particularly favoured. I myself like to play the odds a little differently, so I've placed a wager against someone winning. Nathan, please don't let me down, but there's a number of people I'd like to put focus on. So you've got the likes of Zach Gibson, you've got the likes of Rampage Brown, You've even got the NGW Tag Team Champions, the Insane Fight Club. There's all these individuals that have got great odds of winning. But what I'd like to draw your attention to is the fact that the opportunity is there. If everyone's looking at these guys, the door's open and anyone could come in. So this isn't to say that there's going to be a definite winner, but it could be an underdog's race. So bear that in mind. Heed my advice and you too could be better by comparison. One week away from the Destiny Rumble and you are watching a tag team match to fill the final two spots in that match. The bell rings and we are underway. Well I mentioned before the commercial break, before the end of this programme, we will be exclusively announcing the four men picked for the historic Baby Boy Smith Cup number two. And Dave, I also mentioned the latest signing for the Gen X division. You are not going to believe who we have coming up in just a few weeks. But what I will say, Dave, he may just be one of the hottest prospects in the entire world of wrestling. You're going to want to stick around for that. Yeah, huge amount of exciting news to bring you this week. But right now, it's all about those last two spots in the Destiny Rumble as Alex Gracie with that shot into the abdomen of David Graves. And Gracie there goes to send Graves. Oh, look at that. David Graves, a fantastic mat wrestler, able to reverse that. Because let's not forget, the difference maker in this one isn't just RJ Singh on the outside, but it's the huge man known as Caden Lay. The guy's a monster. Graves is able to get a quick pin attempt there on Gracie. Both men back to their feet now as the front face lock applied by this young man. Gracie finds a way out. Gracie with that clubbing blow between the shoulder blades takes control. Gracie asks for Caden Lay to bring his knee up. This is going to be bad for Graves. Oh, Graves slows down and fast thinking and look at this. David Graves is not letting this opportunity go to waste. Graves ducks the clothesline attempt from Gracie and hits him with a, a flying uppercut. Ace Matthews there and for those who didn't see it, Graves made a tag to Matthews as he hit the ropes. These guys are tag team specialists in the making. Unlike Hayden Lay and Gracie, who are using NGW as an opportunity to get their faces on TV, these two train as a tag team, they long to be NGW tag team champions, and you're seeing the difference in their teamwork in the ring. Yeah, quick fire tags from Team Sports, and also multiple attempts to go for the pin. Another tag now as Ace Matthews comes back in, and these two youngsters making a very good account of themselves as they try and qualify for the Destiny Rumble. Oh, Gracie holds on there. Go straight into that uppercut there from Gracie. Oh, and there was a blind tag there. I don't think Team Sports have seen it. No, they haven't. And here comes the big man. Look at the size of Caden Lay with a huge double clothesline. Absolutely monstrous double strike there from Caden Lay. And that single-handedly has turned the tide. Well, we said he was a difference maker. 
and he is a smart man because the advantage he has, even when it's two against one, he has increased those odds by making it one on one. But with the size of Caden Lay, it's more like one and a half versus one. This guy's huge. Lay clearly enjoying himself as he takes control here against Matthew, scoops him up, slams him down hard. And Lay with no oh. wasted motion drops the leg right across the throat of Matthews. He'll go for a cover. He's got the leg hooked and a kick out after two. Not only is he big, but he is quick, which is a terrifying combination for any opponent. And Dave, you know what we've not mentioned here is the increasing war between RJ Singh and Mark Lebeck. Lebeck came up with that open door policy in an attempt to get as much British wrestling talent onto your TV screens as possible. And RJ Singh has just shoehorned all of his apprentices into these spots and that's what the Destiny Rumble's all about for him. A guaranteed shot at the NGW champion and the TV time that goes with it. Oh, well, Matthews got caught, Matthews got caught. Wow. By the power of Caden Lay. He's got him up going for a suplex. Matthews finds a way out, a forearm to the face and another one. Matthews is trying to take the big man down, tries to go underneath. Caden Lay put on the brakes, he'll try to go over the top instead, and again to no avail. Ace Matthews did everything in his power to make that tag, but the power of Ace Matthews is nothing compared to the power of Caden Lay. And right now, it's looking very positive for RJ Singh at ringside. Well, that's a shot I didn't want to see. Alex Gracie takes the phrase, get in your face on television, to a whole new level with those shrugs. It's disgusting. Oh. There's a special kind of arrogance to uh, put your own face on your wrestling trunks and Gracie exhibits that arrogance in spades. That's why he gets on with RJ Singh so well. You can imagine that the whole of the NGW Academy in Hull and up in Newcastle... Oh, look at that. Sorry to interrupt, Alex, but Alex Gracie spitting at David Graves. And Graves quite understandably is irate. Alex Gracie using disrespect as a tactic that did not pay off because Ace Matthews, hey, he's going to do it. Oh, oh. Caden Lay with the elbow, nobody home. Matthews pulling himself up to his feet with the help of the turnbuckle. Gracie strikes the turnbuckle as well. Matthews it's just inches away, Dave. That's right, Matthews an inches away. Lay to the outside. Ace Matthews oh. makes the tag. Well, David Graves is in and he has a house of fire and an angry one at that. You can imagine that spit in the face is something that Alex Gracie is regressing right about now. I think that the spit in the face was meant to enrage Graves, but that strategy apparently is back. Oh. Look at that suplex. The cover attempt maybe from Graves. Here it is. Hooks the leg on. Caden Lay pulls him out. Oh, look at Caden Lay on the outside. And this is not looking good for one half of Team Sports as he charges. Oh, and Graves out the back and sends the big man into the post. And that finally sends Lay down. He hits Skull first into that steel ring post. Gracie is left on his own oh. inside the ring. Oh. There's an inside cradle from Gracie for two. Oh, credit to Gracie there, knowing exactly where he was, but look at that. Ace Matthews and oh, on his head, Dave. And right on the back of the head of Gracie, who may be unconscious here. Oh. Ace, Ace Matthews signaling for his tag team partner to go to the top rope. Well, we called it the opportunity of a lifetime for Team Sports. Are they about to seize that opportunity? Wait, hang on a second. Well, the distraction by Roxy's led to RJ Singh. And that's backfired as well. But Team Sports are giving all they have. Oh, Dave, but look at this. Big slam from Ray. The opportunity may have gone for Team Sports. But the power again of Caden Lay, who's caught David Graves. Enormous power slam. Gracie thrown on top, referee makes the count, and RJ Singh's assets are victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, and now advancing to the Destiny Rumble, the team of Hayden Lay and Alex Gracie. Well, call it ironic, but RJ Singh's assets advance to the Destiny Rumble using the move made famous by Davy Boy Smith. Well, indeed, and speaking of Davy Boy Smith, we already know that Zach Gibson is going to be part of that second Davy Boy Smith Cup. Right now, let's find out the second entrance into that tournament. British wrestling is in a resurgence at the moment, and uh, I think you can really trace it all the way back to Davy Boy. Um, and Bret Hart in 92 SummerSlam. It's mind-blowing for its time, the performance those guys put on, and in the UK. I don't think you can forget as a kid the Union flag 
kit, dreadlocks, an absolutely massive human being. David Boy Smith, like he was a sight to behold. And one of the biggest titles you can get in NGW is to win the David Boy Smith Cup. I, I've always competed, I've always been a sportsman. It's, it's what I do and I want to make a name for myself. And getting that cup is going to be the first step into that process. So whether it's a shot again at the Gen X League, or whether it's eventually a shot at the New Generation Wrestling Heavyweight title, or whether it's the shot they've given me right now, which is the David Boy Smith Cup, I'm taking it home. It's what I do. I'm a competitor and I will win. I am Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. Soon to be recognised as NGW's number one. Soon to be recognised as the UK's number one. And soon to be recognised as the world's number one. I am a former NGW tag team champion. And I won the inaugural Davy Boy Smith Cup. I won that tournament. That was a huge deal. Revered around the world. And my name is all over it. Last season was all about getting back in the next tournament, all about getting back on track to the second Davy Boy Cup. I did everything I said I was going to do. I jumped through all the hoops that NGW asked me to. I did everything that was laid in front of me and I am back on track, back in the Davy Boy Cup tournament. The way that I cement my spot as NGW's number one the way that I cement my spot as this country's number one, as this country's premier wrestling talent, is by winning all the big matches. It's got my name written all over it, and it's gonna be mine again. So Justin Sizem entered into the Davy Boy Swift Cup number two, and we can now tell you the identity of the final two men, handpicked by the heart family. They are Bubblegum and Jake McCluskey. Well, that tournament begins in three weeks, Dave, but in just two weeks' time, check this out. Gen X action, the latest signing. Will Osprey is here against Robbie X. And next week, it's finally time for the Destiny Rumble.